A choir featuring more than 100 people with disabilities will perform alongside some of Australia's top musicians at the Port Ferry Folk Festival tomorrow. The All Abilities Choir uses pop music to empower and inspire its members. Daniel Miles went along to watch their final rehearsal. It's opening night and the performers are on edge. It's good to be a little bit nervous because I'm nervous too. This is the first time the Find Your Voice performers have been on an actual stage, but the nerves quickly turn to excitement once the lights shine on its 115 members. How excited are you? This boisterous All Abilities Choir has grown from very humble beginnings. A handful of founding choristers growing to more than 100 members hailing from all parts of South West Victoria. Longtime music lover Jacob Rantel is one of the group's big success stories. When we sing together, my heart feels happy inside. Jacob was diagnosed with developmental delay as a child, but has flourished in his time with the choir, gaining a new sense of self-confidence. It feels like that way like our whole family and then we always get to feed on each other's feedback. It's really really good he really enjoys what he does um, and like he, he'll help people but he's really he's grown into a, a great man. Back at the theatre choir master Tom Richardson is giving his musicians one final rehearsal. A choir like this allows the audience to connect with their vulnerability while at the same time empowers all of the people in this particular choir to really stand up and show people what they're capable of. You know it's just like this big warm hug and it might sound a little bit blasé speaking of it like that but there is magic at play um, when everyone's using their voices. Following tonight's performance, attention turns to the Port Ferry Folk Festival, where this choir will look to follow the footsteps of the likes of Paul Kelly, Sinead O'Connor and Tash Sultana. But Jacob's not worried, because he's got a plan. Sounds like you're planning to take over the world in the music industry. We might, but I'll leave that to the professionals for now. So until then, Jacob will continue to march to the beat of his own drum. Daniel Miles, ABC News, Warrnambool.